Praise the Lord, dear friends. Thomas Manton IV, the Lord told me to come on here and to uh, pray for people in the body of Christ and, and to pray about their economic statuses and a new awakening in the realm of the supernatural regarding money in their life, uh, increase in their life. And there's a few ways to get that to flow in your world. I want to talk to you about that. The Lord said to me, prophesy that money will supernaturally come to those that really need it. You know, it's not your fault that this stupidity is going on in the world. And, you know, God had me prophesy on uh, Tuesday, May 19th, when there was no uh, even conclusion about when any of the lockdowns would end. They were all saying, like, into June and July and some even beyond that. And they were predicting dates, but they did that last time, and then they extended them. So this thing is a pandemic, epidemic, pathetic mess that needs to end. And the Lord had me prophesy. He said, tell the people of the world, everybody, tell people, especially my people, that this lockdown will soon end. That was a prophetic word. And from that day, Tuesday, things begin to reverberate. I, I think it's one of the strongest anointings, one of the strongest prophecies that could be released when someone can say that. And to no uh, ability of any man to do anything like that, to begin to spiritually release a new, an a new anointing of fire across the world. Not natural fire, but the Holy Ghost uh, workings and uh, the miraculous to begin to touch people to end this thing. And, you know, to move back into sanity. Because this is causing an economic disaster in the world. And the Lord said to me, to prophesy this lockdown will soon end. It will soon end, very soon. And from the next day, restaurants that I go to to get uh, coffee or something, it was takeaway for two months. Nobody could sit down anywhere. And I went in there to my amazement on Wednesday the 20th. Now today's the 30th. So That's just uh, 10 days ago. I went into the restaurant and, and there were people were sitting everywhere. The tables were all full of people. And uh, I was like, what? That was quick. And it began. And then on Friday, three days after the prophecy was released, after I released that, and it's on video, date stamped, time stamped. <laughs> you know, we, we, don't, we don't come out after the fact and say, oh, you know, wasn't it great that I spoke that? I mean, that's okay if you have to catch up with yourself on some times. You know, we call it prophecy fulfillment. Then we're seeing the fulfillments of, of the words that God spoke. But when it was spoken, we documented it. It's date stamped, time stamped, on the video, in the computer, of the social media. You'll see the day and the time. Tuesday, May 19th, probably about 5 p.m., 6 p.m. in the afternoon. The time zone where I am right now, which is much later in Asia, much earlier in the U.S. And, and the Lord said that. And from then it began to happen. Now, now, President Trump had an awakening. And on Friday, he came out and said, um, the church is now an essential service and all the churches will reopen in America. And he said, if the governors want to debate or refuse, he said, I will override them. Now we see, you know, I saw a funny meme that somebody did with Dr. Evil, you know, Dr. Evil from the movie, yeah? from the, uh, the, the James Bond spoof movie, you know what I'm talking about, and uh, Dr. Evil. And he was saying, okay, start the riots, boys. The pandemic didn't work. The pandemic didn't work enough. So now there's a shift over to this. You know, there's evil forces behind the scenes and all of this. People asking me for my opinion. What about the white cop and the black man that he killed? And, and that's, just, that's just an outer manifestation of the inner workings and workings in the spirit world of evil forces and evil people. And now you have riot, riots going on and thugs from outside are being paid to flood into uh, areas to escalate this thing and it's evil man it's satanic and that cop that did that he's going to jail he probably won't he won't live a full life because uh 
wherever he goes, he can't survive after doing such a heinous, unbelievably uh, evil, uncalled for, no way to justify, no way that it's even seemingly fathomable or possible. He can't get away with it. He's a dead man. He is, listen to me, listen to God's prophet. He is a dead man. He will not make it. Put him in prison. Ooh, what those boys will do with him in there. It'd be like, it would he be like Judas, say, of, of this one? It would be better if he'd never been born. Now, a man cannot get himself so carried away to do that, so we need to look beyond the natural. The white-black thing, because now they're trying to make it like a racial war and say, well, this had to be the devil. Someone that callous and cold and heartless and to do something like that in the light of a man begging for his life and explaining what the problem was and crying, uh, you know, for help and to stop, for it to stop, and he dies, and you just stay there like motionless, emotionless, possessed by the devil. People ask me for my opinion. So I, I want to say this is... Um, is not a, a, a white and black issue. It's not a racial issue. It's manifesting that way, but it's really a satanic issue to try to overturn the Trump presidency and well-being in the world and in America. You got this Soros guy that says, is, you know, his, the culmination of his life's work, this was him speaking himself, is to, is to destroy America. I don't know why someone doesn't deal with that guy. Let me just prophesy. You need, that guy needs to be dealt with. But you just watch the movies, you know, like when there's an evil person, how they get to them. Even Jeffrey Epstein, remember him? They got to him. Because he was, uh, they realized that now his, all his immunity deals were finished. And now they brought it all back and, and he's going. So now he might sing, rat, the other's out. Because now he needs to do something. He's a narcissist. He's a psycho. He was a psycho, a complete psycho, a depraved maniac. And now he's, and he's arrogant above the law, so he thinks. Now he's not. He's in, and it's really hit the fan. It's going to go. So all those people got nervous that he was uh, facilitating. And next thing you know, he's, they say he commits suicide. But they got to him somehow. And what about all these people, everyone that came against uh, certain public figures? You might know the name without me saying it. And uh, next thing you know, they turn up dead. There's a list of about 200 people. The death toll. I mean, that's worse than the worst serial killer. The worst serial killer doesn't kill that many people. One after the other. And they all say it's suicide, suicide, suicide. So I don't know how, who's protecting this man. And these people, now they say that the, uh, the liberal, crazy, uh, uh, r the rioters, you know, that, that group that are paid by the guy, they're all now going in there and burning the buildings and all that. So this is just not like an injustice done to a person and these citizens are just coming, they're coming out, but the others are coming in to fuel it because they had it planned all along. I didn't plan to get into all that, but I hope that clears something up for you. If you're a person of color, pigmentation of skin, don't hate the one of the light skin. The one of the light skin should never hate the one of the dark skin. Should not have uh, color, more, more color in the pigmentation. Should never. It's wrong. It's evil. So the church needs to rise up and pray because this is an evil onslaught of satanic uh, reality, manifestation to try to come against and hurt the world and America and things that are good the way we've known them. It's terrible. So the lockdown is going to end. I'm telling you again, thus saith the Lord. Watch. Oh, so on Friday, three days later, the president came out and said the churches are essential services and we're going to override anybody that says otherwise and y'all are going to go back to church. That's a miracle. That had not happened before. I had delivered that prophecy. So the day of Tuesday, May 19, 2020, when I delivered that word, there was no hint of it. Nothing had been announced. Had not. Do all your research. Go everywhere. Go every news, every news, every government, every country. Had not been announced. Had not been. Do, do your, you know, research on that. Man, that's powerful. 
What a powerful anointing. Father, thank you for the grace. We give you glory. We give you all the glory. No man can do these things. It's not possible. It's not humanly possible for people to flow in the supernatural like that. God will cause a prophet to, to be raised as he has with me and to speak as his oracle, as his voice to bring his word to the ends of the earth and things will begin to manifest. Now the same voice that spoke that wants to tell you that God has your economy in his mind. He has your economy in his mind. Let's pray right now. I'm reading a, a few Psalms. Psalm 64, protection from evil. Psalm 84 is another good one. Psalm 94 is another good one. Uh, Psalm 35 is a good one. There's many, many, many scriptures to read, and like the whole book of Proverbs, how to flow in wisdom in this world, and you know how to entreat the Lord in the Psalms and go to Him and bring His blessings back to you. And I want to prophesy right now, Father, thank you. Psalm 66, verse 12 is another one I'm reminded of. He'll bring us into the wealthy place now, a place of Rich fulfillment, New King James says. Psalm 107, verse 20 says, The Lord will send his word and heal you and deliver you from destruction. And, and uh, what was the thing that Jeremiah said? He said, It's not his rock like a hammer, but it breaks the rock into pieces. The voice of the Lord is like greater than many waters, greater than death, greater than anything, greater than life, greater than more powerful than anything. God says he called things that are not as though they were and they became so. So we want to prophesy right now a creative miracle over your financial life, your health life, your well-being, your emotional life. Because this is emotionally damaging, all this lockdown, staying uh, indoors, no economy, no movement, nothing, you know, it's... It can bring you to God, which if, as that has happened for many people, I pray you came back front and center with God to get into the mission and the calling that he has for you. That's great. You know, that's wonderful. But beyond that, it's been devastating economically. Whole company chains, corporations, businesses, small businesses. People, if they're in sales or whatever, there's nothing to sell. You may have a stockpile of stuff to sell, but there's no one to sell to. Everything was shut down. That is not good. Yeah, there's a virus. Yeah, it's bad. But are you going to close the world? When did they ever do that before? How can you shut business down thinking that's good to keep people away from each other? And then really the real satanic agenda was to shut the voice of the church, to stop the church from meeting together. Oh, that's a big one. And these evil tyrants like this alien lighthead in Illinois and these other ones in these different states, Virginia, Michigan, California, you know, all there's so many. Just acting like evil tyrants. Who do they think they are? to tell the people of God what to do. You have no right, if you're one of those, to tell the church what to do. You can't oppress the church. You know, you, but go ahead, knock yourself out, because you go and oppress the church. God is going to react and judge you. And if you think God is not real, you'll find out when he judges you, when he strikes you. Wow. Didn't plan to say that either, just the Holy Ghost talking here. And uh, you'll, you'll find out God is real. Someone said, is God real? Well, there's heaven and hell. You get to one or the other, you'll know he's very real. <laughs> really real. These things are real. So, Father, I thank you right now in the name of Jesus that you're going to cause people's economies to begin to flourish. You're going to begin to cause change to come on the horizon for your son and your daughter that are with me and watching and listening. You're going to begin to cause good health to arise in them, good emotional well-being and prosperity as you said in third john 2 beloved the apostle john said beloved i wish desire and pray above everything else that you prosper do well be successful and be in good health be healthy and strong and 
have soul prosperity, peace of mind, great intellect, great emotions, great ways of feeling about life. And your experiences are good, so you'll be happy. Happiness comes from good happenings. When the happenings are good, you feel very happy. If you haven't had enough good happenings, then you don't know what real happiness is. Someone says, can money bring you happiness? You better believe it. You better believe it, honey, because you, you can have so many options to do so many good things by having a lot of money. And I pray that supernaturally, this is the day and the hour for you to begin to flourish financially. Supernaturally. Oh, yeah. You couldn't have made it in the markets right now, maybe. You couldn't have made it in your business right now, maybe. But God is on the throne, and he's our Jehovah Jireh. A, a Hebrew definition of the word Jireh or Yire is this. I am your father. I am your father. I am your father who sees your future, and I will see to it that it happens. In other words, I'll make things manifest for you that the good future that I have for you will actually manifest and take place. That's the, that's the bishop and overseer of our souls, Jesus Christ, the Lord, talking. And uh, he wants to see that what he's ordained for you will happen. And this is the day and the hour for that. So, Father, I thank you right now again for your precious sons and daughters, for us that have need of so many things, that we don't have to be stressed about it, that you're working on the scenes on our behalf. I had a vision, uh, an open vision, a visitation from the Lord, and I had three of them. One was about breaking the lockdown, which we released that word on Tuesday, May 19, 2020. And from that day, it began, things began to shift all over the world. It's amazing how God uses me. <sighs> to him be all the praise. I'm just amazed. And uh, another one, I was praying and he said, uh, I was praying about business and things that we're doing and all that. He said to me, nothing about that. He only said, son, I've called you to, to teach to prophesy and declare what I'm saying and to teach my word and to be doing it through the media all the time, more and more, and more with more and more expanse throughout to, to the nations of the world. That's all he said to me. He didn't talk to me about the business thing or whatever. He didn't say anything about it. Now, any business or natural logistic thing, he just talked about his purpose, and I've been talking about that. Did a broadcast yesterday uh, with another servant of God, and uh, that will be coming out soon. Uh, we'll be releasing that. And uh, I don't know what to title it yet. I think the, the title, the subject was Biblical Wealth, and I have creation strategy, something like that, and, and, and uh, I'll get the title for it and release it. It's, very, it's like one hour and 11 minutes. Imagine the number, Deuteronomy 111. We spoke for one hour and 11 minutes back and forth. And the information and content in there, I did, I did this yesterday uh, afternoon. The, it, the content is there is riveting. It's amazing. You'll be seeing that soon. It's going to be coming out. It's being uh, worked on right now uh, for the final release. And it's come, going to be coming out to you uh, in a day or two or within a few days. You'll be seeing it. So um, God has the, a plan of action for you, and that's what he's thinking about. And then I had a third visitation. This is all within a seven-day period. Uh, from two weeks ago to seven days ago. Within a seven-day period. And the third one was amazing. The presence of the Lord filled my uh, place where I was. Great room. And I was sitting there, and the Lord spoke this. He said, son, I am with you and I am working on things for you behind the scenes and on your behalf. And what all that I promised and ordained is happening. It's happening. I'm making sure it happens. And that was it. Didn't give me any scriptures to talk about. Didn't give me a new title for one of my books upcoming. By the way, I have another new one coming. It's called, uh, this is not the real cover, but success strategies 
Wow, uh, success strategies, and this is going to be a loaded book. I have so many more that I'm writing also, and I'm re-releasing a lot of the ones that were sold out on. And you can get a co an, an e-copy of, of one to anybody that's sowing a seed into uh, this anointing and grace. You're going to be blessed. As people, we have people that are becoming millionaires under this anointing. It's phenomenal. It's really tangible. And the same voice that had me speak these things, and I heard him say, to declare, uh, is speaking to you right now to tell you that God wants to prosper you. He really does. So the Lord says, I'm working, I'm with you, and I'm working on things for you. Does that minister to you? I know it will. God is with you. He hasn't forgotten. He hasn't forgotten the great plan. I know the plans that I have for you, says the Lord. Jeremiah 29, 11, you know it give you a great future, prosperity, not harm. Great things to happen. What I've ordained for you will happen, says the Lord. Wow, I feel the anointing here. Sweet presence of the Lord. Different anointing, different flow today. I feel just a smooth grace, just sweet peace in the air. All day I've been feeling this. You know, sometimes you have so much warfare because you're in so many different environments, you know what I mean? But when you just have time alone to pray and to enjoy the Lord without any kind of interference from others, God wants you to have that. So he wants you to have your own house, but of course a big house. And if you're with other people, you can have a place where you have your space. And hopefully you're with people of grace that are also running your race with you. Rhyming, yeah. And they're not crazy. They're not carrying demons, you know that you can have that peace and you need that. That's part of what prosperity will do. That's part of what financial abundance will do, give you a better place to live, better car to drive. You need that. That's a necessity. That's not just a luxury. It's a necessity. Father, I just declare right now in this season, oh my God, I feel the anointing. Let the presence of heaven, you're feeling this sweet peace coming on you right now. Peace, the presence of the Lord is going to fill your house as you're watching this. And I just declare the blessings supernaturally going to begin to come from everywhere upon your son right now, upon your daughter right now in Jesus' name. The answers that they need, the money that they need, it's coming. It is coming to you, precious one. Now, I'm your pastor. I'm your prophet, I'm your intercessor, I'm your teacher, I'm your mentor, I'm your coach. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you this to help you and to bless you. And you, I'm prophesying again, you will see the hand of God in these days. Mix your faith with mine and whew, it's going to work. In Jesus' name, as you're sowing into this work, I had a visit, another visitation, I had another open vision, a fourth one. Last Saturday, today is Saturday, a week ago today. Yeah, this is all recent cur current, current news here. A week ago today, and I had an open vision, and I saw this number seven and seven, and they came together in two clouds, came together, it became like a solid thing, like a rock, and the Lord said, this is the number, and I felt right away, I should sow that as a seed, $77, and I did. And I'm telling you, from the next day, from Sunday, the floodgates opened up. I started to be blessed from all kinds of different sources. I can't say all the details, but it just was phenomenal. And I want to prophesy that to you as well. That, that there's, there's a grace from heaven upon this. I, I know a number of people with numbers, and they do that, and it's got all, they got all these numbers. Things. Some people love to just poo-poo that and talk against it and act like it's rubbish or something. But no, God can come and speak. And a lot of people stay away from that because they don't want to be labeled as, you know, the guy with the number and the seed and all that. And I know, I know, I know all that. I know all that. But I, I, I've only always done what God spoke. This is a pure ministry. It's a pure anointing. My God, I feel this. I feel the Holy Ghost. And I've always done what the Lord says, and when he says something, I'm in it, I'm with it, I'm doing it, I'm activating it. 
So you could sell that. I guess in Kenya shillings that would be seven 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 seven, right? Seven thousand seven hundred seventy seven shillings. You make it all sevens. Or seventy seven hundred or seventy seven seventy seven, whatever however you like. For me I'd put all sevens in there. And that's uh, equivalent of seventy seven dollars in shillings. Uh, euros or pounds, 77 euros, 77 pounds if you're in England, if you're in Europe, yeah, where the euros are, in the EU area, you, know, you can do pounds. Uh, any other currency, you could figure out what 77 US dollars would equate to in your currency, and you can sow that as a seed. When you and, and find me, the information will be on the screen, our PayPal, our Cash App, my website, thomasmanton.com. If you're in Kenya, you can sow uh, to the, uh, lo the local uh, thing here, the M-Pesa, on two different numbers. They will be on the screen. And when you do, you can take your choice of either of these books. And who knows if I'll even be tempted to send you both by e-book. Pick one, The Benefits of Excellence or The Laws of Success. Tell me which one you'd like. Many other, many people are responding saying, I like this one, I like this one. And I have these both in the e-format that I can even send on WhatsApp. Let me give you my WhatsApp number. Plus 254-792-320-780. That's, uh, that's, the, that's the WhatsApp number. And my, the other number, the Kenyan office also... Uh, has WhatsApp on it as well and works on M-Pesa as well. So they both work. 0792-320-780 and 0706-164191. And you can have your choice of either one of these. But do whatever God is telling you. But I want to challenge you that there's an anointing as you sow into this work. I didn't come on here to receive. I came here to give. And I'm doing that. And as I sow, I reap. I'm just telling you about it. So I'm just giving you the invitation to get in on the blessing that happened for me. And as you do that, God will reward you and give you a great harvest. I pray he opens up the floodgates with multiplied times what you're giving within 24 hours like he did it for me. Use your faith. Tap the grace of this anointing. It can happen for you. And it will in Jesus' name. Father, thank you. For the grace of God, for financial breakthrough, financial provision, financial increase upon my precious friend, upon my precious person who's connecting with me now in faith. I declare the financial floodgates will open for them. And you know, of course, you know that you have to take action. You have to do business. You have to pray. You have to hear God. And you have to sow. And of course, you need to be tithing. So all of those things you can do and connect with us and write me your prayer requests. I'm reading all of them and I will pray for you in Jesus name. The information will be in the heading and also in the comments. And do share this broadcast and help other people get blessed as the way you have been by partaking of these words. In Jesus name, I'm Thomas Matthew the Ford. Love you much. In the words of the great Isaiah 48, 17, I am the Lord, your God. Who will teach you to profit and lead you in the way you should go. And he has blessing on his mind for you. Connect and watch the miraculous flow for you in the realm of your economy. In Jesus' name, love you much. Talk to you on the next broadcast.